We're joined by Tony Rivera, Managing Director of Azure Minerals. Tony, thanks for your time. Pleasure, David. Let's start with Andover, one of your key projects, and you've really progressed it in recent years. Absolutely. Uh, I guess in only the last year and a half, we've, uh, we've made several discoveries. We're in the final processes, process of being able to release our maiden mineral resource on the uh, Andover deposit itself. Uh, used to be called VC7 East, but uh, we've now given it a name. And, and that's really looking very, very positive for a, a substantial resource when that's announced in the next few weeks. And outside of that, we're still drilling and we're still hitting nickel on, on so many different targets. And it's a very, very po positive uh, project. And well endowed with infrastructure? Absolutely. There's, uh, well, we've got cell phone coverage completely across it, which is a good thing uh, for me. I'm not so sure for the local geologists. Um, and then everything you possibly want in terms of power, water, gas supplies, uh, accommodation, services, everything within probably half an hour's drive of the project area. So you couldn't get a better located project anywhere in, uh, in Australia. And you recently picked up the Barton project. What was the appeal and what have you done since acquiring it? Well, Barton was one that we acquired the original tenement from a local prospector, which we, uh, we bought in the middle of last year. And since then, we've been very aggressive in terms of staking available ground when it becomes available. We've now got over a thousand square kilometres of land in the, in the Kukaini district, makes us the biggest landholder of tenement exploration tenements in that district. Uh, we've got an RC rig on the, on the ground at the moment drilling away. Interestingly enough, our next door neighbour, Genesis Minerals, has had a really significant gold discovery they've called Puzzle North. And uh, they've, they've drilled that to the res nearly to the resource stage now. Well, the mineralisation on their ground runs right up to our boundary. And we've now got the RC rig on our side of the boundary and we're continuing to drill up there. And, and visually, things are looking very positive. Across the two projects, what does the next 12 months look like? Well, with Andover, initially we'll have the mineral resource coming out for the, uh, the original Andover deposit itself. We'll continue to drill on the other uh, targets we've identified. There's a lot of targets there. We've got at least three others where we've actually drilled mineralisation, nickel and copper sulphide mineralisation already. So then it's moving into a sort of a, a resource drill out or a, a define the deposit type exploration. But we've also got many other project uh, prospects in the area which require drilling as well, where we've got electromagnetic conductors at depth, we've got uh, outcropping Gossen mineralisation which is indicative of buried sulphides. All of that uh, is, uh, augurs very well for additional discoveries in that district. But in addition to that, we're also doing the development studies. We have a scoping study in progress at the moment. So uh, with the resource coming out, we'll do mining studies as well. We've got the metallurgy got undergo underway at the moment and all the other components of a, uh, a development study are being done. We anticipate being able to release the scoping study for Andover, for the Andover deposit in the third quarter of this year. Um, and so I'd say that Andover is looking uh, very, very positive for the company and uh, it's an exciting place to be. And at Barton, yes, we've got the RC rig drilling at the moment. I anticipate that we'll have s several more drilling programs this year. Um, and if things work out the way that I'm hopeful that they will, then we'll, have a, uh, we'll be able to define a substantial gold deposit on our side of the fence. And, uh, and on the other side, we've got Genesis being successful as well. So it all gets really well for the, uh, for the, for the prospects of the whole Kukaini district. Two exciting projects that are advancing rapidly. A yep. lot of work to be done, but a quality technical team leading the work. Exciting times ahead for Azure and its shareholders. Thanks for your time. Thanks, David. It's a pleasure.